Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Good morning, sir. Do I am audible to everyone? Yes. In yes, the sir. <coughs> okay. So, what were we discussing in the last class? I think you were discussing about the uh, bubble shirt. Bubble shirt. So, have you have you look like, tried or else you understood the bubble shirt? Yes. Everyone understood the bubble shirt. So, yes. what is the logic here? It is we are sending, we are comparing the first element with the next, its immediate element, and thereby uh, we are repeating for all the elements. And this uh, this set, this uh, repetition is repeating for <coughs> uh, n minus one sets. Okay, n minus one sets. So this is uh, called as bubble shot. Indirectly, what we are going to do inside this is we are every time pushing at the highest element to the last, highest element to the last. So this is uh, a bubble shot. Okay, and we have seen the program. I will be how it will be working and this is a program for that so this is actually uh, actual program i have modified it into uh, uh, this program because it would work uh, like this time complexity of the program would be the less becomes the less what is the time complexity is it's how much time it will be taking to complete its execution is called as a, a time complexity here if i'm <clears throat> in this case what is happening if the elements are in the sorted order also, we are repeating the same logic for each and every element, either it has been uh, <coughs> swap, uh, swapping or not. So what I've done is here I've made it into, if at all the swapping is not happening, I have made to come out of the break, come out of the logic, kind of come out of the for loop. So if at all, uh, let's take, <coughs> for loop which is having from high equal to zero to n minus n n minus one how many times the for loop will be repeated n times it will be repeated for example inside that again and any other for loop is there for example there are another for loop there is a nested loop so here i'm writing For i equal to zero, i less than n minus one, i plus plus. <coughs> For i j equal to zero, j less than uh, n minus one, j plus plus. Printer. Hello. This means to print hello, how many times the loop will be repeated? This is n minus one time into n minus one time. That means if at all there is a uh, six, size is six, five into five, 25 times it will be repeated. For example, for example, either it has been first in the first set only, that means in one into five, of the five, after five repetitions, the uh, elements are in sorted order, elements in sorted order. Then we are going, going to make a 20 unnecessarily looping state, 20 unnecessarily looping uh, situation. Thereby the time complexity will be increasing. That is only the motto. So remember, if you write if you write this logic is correct or this logic is also correct. Don't think that if you write this logic is only correct. I have modified, I have modified the logic into if at all the if it all, if it all, all already the number of elements are in sorted order, I'm not going to swap it. That's only, so that is only the logic I've written. So this is about the bubble set. Okay, so next. <coughs> Sorry. Next sorting. Next sorting is selection sort. Next is selection sort. What is the selection sort? We'll discuss. So up in the binary bubble sort, sorry, in bubble sort, technically, technically we have every time pushing largest element element into the last. Is that right? 
every time we are pushing the largest element into the last in the every iteration every uh, iteration or every uh, thing we are comparing so we are pushing out the largest element to the last we are pushing out largest element to the last so therefore therefore this is pushing the largest element to the last at the same way selection sort pushing the smallest element to first that means if at all there is a largest element here in this any middle i'm going to push, push out this largest element here to the last but here in the bubble chart we are going to compare and each and every element the same way the selection sort also does the same thing but we are going to push out the smallest we are checking out the what is the smallest element and pushing out into the front and if tell another element is there pushing out an element is to that so this is how a selection sort is going on here but this is only the logic i'll explain i'll explain detailly what is how the situation goes on but this is only the technicality what the behind what is there behind the selection sort behind the selection sort if at all if, the, if someone asks what is the difference between selection sort and bubble sort the bubble sort pushes the highest element the largest element to the last uh, selection sort pushes the smallest element to the first okay we'll see that how it will be happen so uh, give any example example uh, number series who is going to give in the class someone from the class please give the 5 8 7 5 8 7 1 1 9 9 10 okay these are the elements he has given so i'm going to swap, uh, i'm going to make in the sorted order okay uh, selection sort so in the selection sort uh, what is the uh, what is the size of this array 6 uh, size of array is 6 so this is size that is n let's take n is a size and how i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this into sorted list and unsorted list sorted list and unsorted list sorted list and unsorted list first sorted list and unsorted in the first case in the first and foremost no element in the sorted list all the elements are in the unsorted list okay now after that what i'm going to check is what i'm going to do is 5 8 7 1 9 10 i'm going to check out which is i'm going to compare you know what is the logic to compare minimum element minimum element in check cheyadam telusu so how to compare so take any first element so let's take the first element uh, uh, first element and compare with all the elements the there is minimum element to find the minimum element first find the minimum element find the minimum element among these all the elements what you do is start with this already this element is the already uh, element you have taken from the next element from this elements compare rest of the elements rest of the elements which is the minimum which is the minimum so here which is the minimum one is the minimum so swap out first element with this minimum element if this first element itself is the minimum element no swapping is done okay no swapping is done then next again what is this 1 5 sorry 1 yeah 8 7 1 8 7 okay this is now we have the element sorted list this is sorted list this is unsorted list so this is only the technically we are thinking that there, there is no logic we are going to write for sorted and unsorted but uh, we are going to think it that ante an anukuntam ante okay sorry uh, tell me social what is the doubt social by mistake sir okay. sorry sir by mistake okay. so now this is a sorted next we are going to take this first element from the unsorted list first element from the unsorted list and 
check what is the minimum element from the rest of all the elements from this rest of if this is element i'm going to check and uh, take the uh, for, for this element after that i'm going to compare all these elements the rest of the elements one and now which is the element is which is the uh, minimum element among this after comparing so among this is five is the minimum element therefore sab the first element with this so now one five uh, this is will become this will become seven eight nine ten so now this is sorted list this is unsorted list from the unsorted list again take the first element first element and the compare with the remaining elements compare with the remaining elements which is this minimum element this is the minimum element no no sorting is done next no sorting is done so next after that after that take this first element compare with the remaining element no sorting is done okay next uh, take the minimum element from this compare with this remaining elements no sorting is done next there is any no elements therefore no comparisons needed no sorting is needed done so this is sorted list so all the elements are in sorted order this is how a selection sort works so what we are going to do is we are going to take out we are going to pull out the which is the minimum element what is the minimum element uh, in the all the rest of the elements and uh, comparing with this other elements so you know how to find the minimum element uh, we have done already the logic is done but we are not going to take the minimum element we are going to take the minimum elements index in the programming logic we are going to take the minimum element index because we have to sort out if i am taking the minimum element directly i cannot sort so therefore i am taking the index of the minimum element i am storing the minimum index of the minimum element and swapping the first element that is uh, unsorted elements of first element and the re remaining element which element is this minimum element that is the logic i am going to okay is it right understood up to here any, any doubt understood no yes sir okay. yes sir yes sir understood now i'm going to write the logic okay i'm going to write the logic understand the logic and if at all if you get any any doubts there you can ask okay i'm writing only the logic from the logic you know how to read the read array elements read size and reading the array elements array elements and from that after that i'm going to write the logic to sort out okay and if i'm writing this logic you can push out this logic into your uh, function and make it implement your function using a function also okay as a wish okay <clears throat> um let's take i equal to 0 I less than uh, n minus one. Why? Why is the reason of n minus one? I'll tell you. I plus plus. Done. Now take the minimum index. Minimum index. So here I'm uh, thinking that minimum index itself is the first index. That is what is the first. For example. i'll tell you so if at all if i'm taking the element which is this element first element i'm starting with the first element i'm not going to compare i'm thinking this this element is the minimum element and after that i'm comparing this minimum element with all the remaining elements that's the reason so minimum itself is the first index here i'm telling that so remember i'm not going to take the minimum element directly i'm going to take the minimum element index so what is index here i okay that's it <coughs> 
next another inner loop for checking which is the minimum element so sorry so this is j j is equal to where, from where i have to start comparing from the from this element to relieve out this element if this element is i the element i the location minimum element i have to compare with from where from here that means which which is the elements have to start index i plus 1 so start j from i plus 1 and j less than what is the size what is the size l um, uh... what happened what happened in the class okay done so next i have to compare the minimum element which is the minimum element so which is the minimum element i have to compare so this is already this is a minimum element so i have to compare so to comparison if how what is the minimum element here min is the minimum element. minimum element index remember it is not the minimum element so what is the array so my array is a of min i have to compare with all the elements okay a of min is greater than this element is greater than s yes? which element like or else i'll write like this greater than ka apna less than rasta so uh, eraser a of j is minimum than less than that means by comparing this element with this all the elements if that element is less than the element so a of min i should replace the min min log i'm remember i'm not here to replace the elements i'm here to replace the index okay so what is the index now so min equal to J. So now I'm replacing that. For example, for example, this is a minimum first element I've thought. After that, I'm going to compare all the elements. This is the minimum element as per the logic we have done. So this is the minimum. And after remaining elements, I'm comparing. After these elements, I'm comparing. If this element somewhere here, the element is which is the minimum element, then this element I'm going to replace. Each every time I'm going to done. So you know what is the logic we are going to do in the minimum minimum logic. Akada number this ko namo we have taken directly the value. Here we are taking the index. Remember why I'm taking the index because we have to swap the elements. We have to swap the element. That's the reason I have taken the index. That's the reason I have taken the index. Now I got the logic of which is the minimum. Now what I have to do? I have to swap the element. I have to swap the element from this logic. From this logic, remember this is the logic to find the minimum element. Minimum element and have to replace that minimum element with this which element? The replace where it is there. This element. So therefore, you write write a swapping element. I'm I'm calling the function called swap. Which element to be swapped? Which two elements has to be swapped? A of min, comma A of i. is it right i element which is the i element which is the element which is there with a the minimum element so i'm going to write a swap so if you want to write the logic all the logic here only you can write so here i'm writing the logic here what is the swap logic so that is a temp equal to a of min a of min equal to a of i A of i equal to temp. So this is the swapping logic. So just I'm calling the function to swap. Then swapping is done. So this same swapping has to be repeated for the, all the n minus one because last element I'm not going to compare with this next element. So I'm not don't have any other element. This is the logic. Done. This is very simple. So first I'm going to check out which is the minimum element index. And I'm going to swap out. Like I'm going to check. Uh, like this is the first element itself. I'm thinking. For example, when i equal to zero, when i equal to zero, the first element is the uh, minimum element. I'm thinking. After that, I'm comparing with the re remaining elements. And then, if at all i value increments, the first element, this next element, I'm thinking itself is this 
minimum element and after the remaining elements i'm going to compare and in the next iteration i will increments i'm going to compare this is a logic going on in the background okay is that understood should uh, i'll explain uh, i'll explain with the taking the example how it has been going to do but understood the logic or not tell me remember this is for checking out the minimum element which is the minimum element among the rest of the element which have, if i'm picking this element is to be a swapping this element to be swapped i'm comparing with this after the elements all the elements of after that elements okay so next to its elements so comparing it and swapping Sir? Out, there is a minimum element is found and swapping out the element with this element with this element and next i'm going on next with the next element and taking the next element comparing the rest of the elements and which is the minimum the minimum element found the, then this element i'm going to swap out and moving out the next element and uh, taking the, this element is a minimum element and comparing with this rest of the elements and if the minimum element is found then this element then this element which i have picked out i'm, re I'm uh, replacing the element this is the thing i'm going to do here so this is the logic for finding out the minimum element but it is not directly the minimum element because i am not taking the minimum element because i cannot swap it if at all if i take the directly minimum element i am taking the minimum elements the index minimum elements index i am taking by using that index i am easy to swap out therefore i am finding here the index of the minimum element and using that index of minimum element i am going to swap it out okay this is the logic and uh, here a swapping logic is this one okay someone is asked the question so i am in the middle of the explanation sorry okay tell me that what is the question sir if you write min is equal to j won't it be updated multiple times at once i didn't get you sorry so in that if condition if we are writing min is equal to j then min it will be updated j. many times at once no sir Yes, they will be updated. Min if at all, if at all, if at all, we are going to compare. We are going to compare swap and so every time. So we are going to compare this element. If this element is like the the for example, ah, uh, uh, this is element is a five, five fifth element, first element. Let's take this five, ah, uh, three, two, one, five. Okay, so one six. Let's this is the element. So I'm I'm taking this element is to be this element to be a, first is the min element min element. So by the logic of min equal to i, so where i is equal zero. Okay, now this is the min element. I've, I've entered into the second loop. I've entered into the second loop. There in the second loop, I'm comparing a of j. This is the second loop in the a of j, where the j starts from j equal to i plus one. I plus one, J is less than, less than, sorry, is less than A of min. A of min. What is here? A of J value here? A of J is I plus one. For example, I value is zero. I plus one. I value zero. Next, I plus one becomes zero plus one. J value becomes one less than A of min. What is A of min value is zero? So A of min is zero. So this is zero. Now I'm comparing is here the min element A. This is here. Uh, what is the uh, five three is less than uh, that is less than five. Yes, it is true. If it is true, what I am doing min equal to sorry min is equal to j. So I am placing out placing out j value to here in the minimum place in the minimum place. Now what is happening here? What is happening? Uh, uh, okay. What is happening? So replace this value which is have what is the value minimum value is now one. So one value. What is the min value now? One. Min value is one now. So min value is one. So next in the next iteration, in the next iteration, replace next. So uh, j value will become two. If j value increments, j value becomes two. A of again it is one. A of one. So a of two less than a of one. A of two is less than a of one. Is that true? So this is uh, this is three. I'm not replacing. Just I'm checking which is the minimum elements uh, minimum elements index. Is that uh, three? Uh, it is two. Is less than three? Yes, it is. Two. So replace min min value to two now. Min value to two. J value is two. Remember J value is two. That's the reason. 
the next iteration in the next iteration j value is like again it becomes 3 less than again it has been updated this is 2 a of 2 so that is like a of 3 a of 2 so what is a of 3 0 0 1 2 3 4 what is a of 3 1 1 is less than a of 2 what is a of 2 2 1 is less than 2 yes obviously it is true if it is true what i'm going to replace which is index 3 so minimum value index is 3 minimum value index is 3 next in the next iteration uh, j value becomes 4 j value becomes 4 and now Uh, now it is j a of 4 and it is like a of min value is updated to 1. Sir, 1 not, it's 3. Sir, it's 3. So now this a of 4 is less than a of 3. a of 4, what is 6 is less than 1. Is that true? No, it is not true. So now what is the min, min index now? What is the min index which is stored? Uh, 3. What is the minimum index now? 3 is the minimum index. After that, we break out the logic. We break out the logic. We come out this here. Next, we are going to swap out a of what is a of uh, this is 3 with a of 0. a of 3 with the a of 0. Whether i is increased, no. a of 3 with a of 0. What is a of 3? That is the elements, which is their elements. What is a of 3? This is the element. I'm going to swap out this element with this, this element. Now, 3, oh, sorry, it is 1, is 1, and 3, 2, 5 and 6. This is going to happen. Okay. Is that right? Understood? Whether the element is replacing every time? Only just the index is replacing. We are not replacing the elements. That's the reason. Remember, we are taking the index instead of we are taking the index instead of the elements. Instead of the elements. If at all, if we have taken the elements, I have to swap each and every time. How many times it has been found the minimum element? <coughs> Minimum element. First, I found the minimum element is 3. So I would replace 3 year and 5 year. Next, I found the 2 is the minimum element. 3 year, 2 year. I found this element is the minimum element. So 1 year and two, uh, 3 year. I have to replace like that every time. So instead of doing that every time, I'm checking out the which is the minimum element from the remaining elements and replacing that element with the next elements. Okay. Is it understood? Yes, sir, got it. Okay. All the all others in the class? Yes, sir. Any doubts? Excuse me, one minute. Okay, I'm back. I'm taking the smaller example uh, to explain you. Okay. One minute, I'll be back. Okay, sorry, uh, there is a disturbance. Okay. 
now so this is my elements um what is the size now here this take on the oh, okay what is the size now what is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 my size is 5 my size is 5 n equal to 5 now i equal to 0 i less than or equal to i less than or equal to this n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 4 okay next a min equal to i so what is now min min equal to 0 i value is equal to 0 min equal to 0 Next, for j equal to i plus one, so now j value is equal to one. Okay, now we have selected. This is the index. This zero, one, two, three, four, and this index is the minimum values index. Okay, now after that, I went. I'm going into this. That is, uh, j value is one. I plus one. What is i plus one? That is uh, one less than or equal to five. Is that true? Yes, it is true. So go into the logic. If a of J. What is one is less than a of min. What is the min? Zero. So a of one is less than a of min. What is a of one? Three is less than a of zero. What is five? S. Yes, it is true. If it is true, what I am going to do? I am going to suppose to change out j value to min. What is j value? Uh, j. Uh, sorry, min value to be j value. So min value to be j value one. Min value is one of one. Replace to one. one so next we have completed this logic after that there is no loop again i'm going to the this loop so because i should, I, i didn't have, uh, didn't came here after the slope so in an inka inner loop lo unna so this is for finding this j plus plus j value becomes 2 and 2 less than 5 2 less than 5 therefore so now it is like copy first one huh first one first one uh five uh, next it is replaced Uh, now uh, it is j values two, and min values again replaced. Min value, what is the min value? One. So a of two is less than one. So a of two, what is a of two value? Two. Two is less than three. Is that true? Yes, it is true. If it is true, uh, replace the minimum equal to j. Minimum value equal to j. So j value should be replaced. J value should be uh, assigned to min. So what is the j value? Two. Two should be assigned to min value. Now next, in the next iteration. Um, and the next iteration, j value becomes three. Uh, so three is less than five. Yes, it is true. Now it is a of three less than what is the min value? It is updated to two. So two. That is a of three is less than a. What is a of three value? A of three is two. So a of three is one, and a of two is two. So one less than two. Yes, it is true. If it is true, so I have to replace j value. What is j value? Three should be replaced to min. Done. So now increment j plus plus j value becomes four. Four less than five. As it is true. After this, now so next, uh, where I'm uh, yeah j value is four, and min value is replaced to three. As it is replaced. Uh, three. So now, what is this? So we have four. What is a of four? A of four is six. Six less than a of three. One. Is that true? No, it is not true. So I'm not going to this block. I'm going to out of the block. So next, j plus plus j is five. J becomes pi. Pi less than pi. It is false. We come out of the block to this. Swap out a of min with a of i. What is a of min? What is a of min? A of min is what is a of min? We last we found three. What is a of i? What is i value? That that is change no zero. I value zero. So a of three with the a of a of zero. A of three. What is a of three? This is the a of three with a of zero. I am replacing the value. One here, i here. Is that right? Yes. Replaced. Now. After completing this logic, where should I go? I should go to this one. So now, now i value becomes what is i value? Sorry, i value becomes one. So one less than four. Yes, it is true. 
one less than four it is true after that min equal to i what is min value now min value is equal to i i is one is that true yes one next j value starts with a zero again sorry it's not zero j value starts with a what is the j value j value starts with i plus one so what is i plus one two Okay, so now j value is equal to two. So two less than six as uh, five. Is that true? Oh, sorry, yes, it is true. So let's go to this a of j value is what is j value? J value starts from two. So two less than. Now what is the min value? Min value is already one. It is one. Sorry, min value is one because we have replaced i value to min value. So now again check the min value. Among the min value again we are going to get again we are going to replace. I'm directly writing, so I'm going to check whether which is the minimum element. The index two we are going to get as index two as a minimum element. Sorry, so now it is here. Now it is here. So we are going to get index two as a minimum element. I'm going to replace that in minimum element with here. So now uh, this two and this is three. And however, it has been swapped out, so uh, it has been in the order. So next time the same it will be happening. So no swapping happening. No swaps. No swapping will be happening. No swapping will happen. You cannot also. You can also write the same logic. If this no swap is happening here, you write a flag value is equal to zero here. You write one if it is one. So we are going to replace. If it is not zero, it is zero already. So we are going to break out. You can also write the same logic here, as you wish. But what is the happening here is like what is happening here is we are going to uh, check out which is the minimum element. Therefore, we are not going to bother about how many times the minimum element we are going to find out. How many times we are going to find out the minimum elements? We are going to we are not going to come up, come into this block. We are not going to come into block because so every time we have find it, we have the element which is there. We have chosen is the minimum element. So, however, we are not going to go in this block. Go into this block. Therefore, by using this block, you can write the logic. Okay. Or else you keep as it is. Okay. So if you want to do that, or if you want to do that, okay. This is a logic. Okay. I've explained only one set. If you want to, so already because after explaining one set, they they are in the sorted order. Uh, if I'm taking the worst case, if I'm taking the worst case, I would uh, go for all the uh, uh, what is iterations where I have to do. Okay. This is the logic. And if you want to write it down, write it down. Sir, can you once show the full program, sir, for both bubble sort and selection sort? Full program, that means I should write it. Okay, so after completion, completing this, I'll, I'll, I'll write it out. Okay, uh, done. Uh, Yes, screen is visible, visible to everyone. The screen yes. is visible to everyone. <clears throat> See here, I'm writing a code for bubble sort first. Should I write using a function or normally should I write? Function, sir. Function, okay. I'm writing using a function. See here. So I'm not going to return all the elements. Therefore, I'm going to uh, print it here only. So therefore, I'm using a void uh, logic. Okay, void log. Void is a return type. Void.
and I'm going to input array one array that is array. Uh, you wish you can give any name of your array, and I'm going to give input as size. Sorry, I I didn't give uh, what is. Uh, let's take it is ten. Okay. okay. Int i comma j comma flag. Okay. If at all if I require anything, I'll write it for i equal to zero, i less than n minus one. This, this is the outer loop for number of uh, sets, number of iteration, that is number of uh, batches, how many number of batches. Again, in, I'm writing inner loop for j equal to zero, j less than n minus one. So you can write n minus one minus i or else n minus i minus one, LR as now, okay? This is a uh, improved improved set of uh, logic I'm writing. Remember, I'm checking which is the elements uh, the less less element that is a of j is greater than a of. Sir, is it possible to modify the external array? No, we cannot modify in the. Uh, uh, sorry, in the function logic, we have to copy somewhere. From somewhere, you have to copy. Then, how do we return arrays, sir? You cannot return arrays, sir. that's it. Like return as in, like, make modifications on them. Yes, but we cannot return the array values. Remember, we cannot return the array values and functions uh, in the uh, of uh, what you say in the function. Okay, function is separate. Okay, function is written. We cannot return an array value directly here. That's the reason I've taken void. Okay, that is only the uh, primary, but we can do that in the uh, Python. But we cannot do here. Either you cannot do in the Java also. Okay, so a of j is greater than a of j plus one. So I have to write a swap function. There's for that swap function. I have to use a temp. And here I have to assign the flag i equal to zero in the first. And, um, sh shall I write the swap uh, logic directly here? Hmm. Function process that swap, swap off. Yeah, J. Yeah, J plus. Okay, that cannot be done now. So we'll do that. So in the country, we have to make that is reference, reference sale, reference referential and Malinuku pointer step also directly in swap logic process password.
this is the function so this is my only bubble sort function so now i have to implement my uh, so see here so already i have written the bubble sort function i have to implement my main function I'm going with the traditional way of logic, so you wish. So here I'll take x because you will not will not be confused. Size. Now I'm asking, uh, enter the values, enter. Semicolon Sorry, twenty four lines. Thank you. Okay, done. This is my main program. Just I have declared my array and I've read the size of an array and I've asked to enter the array values and I'm printing before before uh, calling the function. I'm printing in unsorted order. So whether the elements have taken in which order it has been taken. And after that, I'm calling the function called bubble sort. And after that, so when I call this function, it uh, the uh, what is so uh, your uh, terminal goes here and executes this logic and prints out the sorted order logic, sorted order logic. Is that right? So, sir. hello, sir. No, no, sir. Record 35 35th line low ampersand also, sir. 38th line low. 35, 35, man. 35, sir. Ah, yes, Kaval. Sorry. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, compiling this.
executing is okay is the screen visible to everyone and the size of array so i'm taking a six enter six values so therefore uh, three uh, sorry 30 34 22 45 17 and 29 okay so these are my values so i have given so what is the value so elements before sorting are 30 34 22 45 17 29 after sorting 17 22 29 30 34 45 is that right the elements are sorted order Yes, the elements have gone into the sorted order. Done? Any doubts here? No, sir. What is it? Oh, sir. So I'm writing for uh, selection sort. See you. Here also void selection. Here I'm passing the same uh, AF array values and that is and I'm passing. Next I'm declaring here I j and min okay so now write a for loop for i equal to zero and i less than sorry i less than n minus one because i should swap out only the before last element i plus plus and here i'm thinking that minimum element i'm assigning minimum element itself is the first element itself is the minimum element where i started and from that i'm starting second loop for j equal to and i plus one because from the next element which you've chosen minimum element I have take this j so i have to compare it so this loop is for finding out the minimum in element index j less than n j plus plus so now compare which is the minimum element if uh, that is a of uh, j is minimum minimum then a of minimum elements index then i'm going to write a min equal to that index okay up to here we have found the minimum element. now from here i have to swap the logic what is the logic here i have to write So now I'm writing temp equal to temp equal to a of min a of min equal to a of i a of i equal to okay so I'm swapping out the two elements swapped out done I think so this will be repeated up to all the elements. So next, I should print the logic. So main main function will be as it is. So after this, sir, are you taking voice for last two? No, no, no. One minute completed. One minute. So it will complete. So I'll execute this program. I will show. So. So up to here, this is the logic. And so after this, I'm printing out in the sorted order, sorted order. After that, so I'm same. So main function will be the same. I'm reading the uh, values with the size and I'm printing, uh, I'm reading the size of the array and I'm reading the elements. And after the printing in the sorted order, which element before sorting out, I'm, this is optional. So this is optional. Okay, so after that, I'm calling the function. This is instead of this, I have to call the function. Selection sort. Okay, so let's see the execution. Uh, 
Huh? Okay, so he's asking to enter the size uh, six elements again. Uh, I'm writing seven, four, uh, two, one, five, and eight. So, element before sorting are seven, four, two, one, five, eight. So, after sorting one, two, four, five, seven, eight. So this is for sorting of the elements. Okay, I'm using a function. You can use a normal way or you can use function. So this is no recursion is can be implemented here, but you can implement that will become somewhat larger because we don't have a, uh, a base condition to stop. Where to stop is perfect base condition. Okay. Done, understood? Understood? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Shall I close this? One minute, show the code. Okay. So, meanwhile, give your attendance. 71. Present, sir. 72. Present, sir. 73. 73 absent. Okay. 78, 74. Present, sir. 25. Present, sir. 26. Present, sir. 77. Present, sir. 78. Present, sir. 79. Present, sir. 80. Present, sir. 81. Present, sir. 82. Present, sir. 83. 83 absent. OK, 84. Present, sir. 85. Present, sir. 86. Present, sir. 87. Fast, be fast. 87. Present, sir. 88. Present, sir. 89. Present, sir. 90. Present, sir. 91. Present, sir. 92. Present, sir. 93. Present, sir. 94. Present, sir. 95. 95. 96. Present, sir. 95, 95 absent or present? Present, sir. Teja. Yes, sir. Present, sir. Ah, okay. 97. Yes, sir. 98. 99. Present, sir. 100. Present, sir. 101. Present, sir. 102. Present, sir. 103. Present, sir. 104. Present, sir. 105. Present, sir. 106. Present, sir. 107. Yes, sir. 108. Present. 109. Present, sir. 110. Present, sir. 111. Present, sir. 112. Present, sir. 113. Present, sir. 114. Present, sir. 115. 115 apps. 116. 115 present, sir. 117. Present, sir. 118. You can leave. Uh, who is present, 119. sir? 119. Present, sir. 120. Present, sir. 121. Present, sir. 122. Present, sir. 123. Present, sir. 124. Present, sir. 125. Present, sir. 126. Present, sir. 127. 127. 128. Present, sir. 129. Present, sir. 30. Present, sir. 131. Present, sir. 32. Present, sir. Present, sir. Present. 138, 133. Present, sir. Okay. One tension present. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, can you scroll up? Sorry? Scroll up, sir. Ah, oh, yes.
One thirty two is present. Can I can I stop sharing? Yes, sir. sir two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Shall I close? Sir, two minutes, sir. Two minutes. Can I share that? Sir, should I share that? I'm asking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two minutes over. Sir. Sir, done, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, over, sir. Okay, now I will have to try to share the screen. Mr. Rohit Kumar, Mr. Kumar. Okay. Okay, here we have. Hello, sir. Sir, over, sir. Can sir. Yes. 
Okay, done. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah.